Hey guys, Shimbo Evan here, and today I thought I'd do another showcase video. I know it's been a very, very long time since I've done one, but since the 1.8 Minecraft update, I thought another one would be awesome to do. So I'm showcasing you guys uh, this Guardian Farm. It delivers over 100,000 drops per hour, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's pretty amazing. Uh, this design was made by Doc M77, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool design. So as I do in every showcase video, I'm gonna explain more about this farm. So first of all, guys, this attracted my attention first. But this is just why? Why is this little squid thing in here? This is here so that pretty much the squids get trapped in here. Then you can come ahead, go ahead and kill them, or what you can do is just leave them there. It's pretty much meant for all the squids to spawn here instead of any other place. This farm can be built in survival, guys. It does lower the rates a little bit, but it is still really good to build in survival. If you do want to check out Doc and his channel, of course, a link in the description will be to his channel and, of course, to the video, too, if you want to see him doing with all the zip crowd people. But, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and turn this design on because I know I didn't do that. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go on easy, guys, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and just turn this design on right here. It's going to lag a little bit because there is probably a ton of water going in there. And then all those guardians of the drop, now we have to turn this part on right over here. This sends the minecart right here to pick up all the drops, uh, which I find actually pretty smart instead of using hoppers because I know that would be horrible if you are to use hoppers because, of course, the drops would get stuck in the hoppers because you get over 100,000 every hour. That's going to be pretty crazy um and yeah it keeps on sending them back as you guys can see right here so as long as this is on the minecarts go there and then of course when you are not using the farm you can easily put the minecraft carts back by just turning off this button and it will turn off these things right over here so pretty much what it's doing guys is it's sending items in here and then once it's out of items it shoots it back using this little small machine under here and all that cool stuff but yeah it's pretty cool guys as you can see little item elevator here to bring all the items up and then they get just thrown all the way here you can pretty much stand right here guys and collect a ton of items it may not look like a lot but remember this has been about five or six seconds uh, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. You already got, look at that. I already got a stack of fish, guys, and that will last me forever. So this farm is really good, guys. You can just leave it there. It's done. And what you can do is you can just collect the fish and get an infinite source of fish. And, of course, add a little cooker on that. And now you're having a really, really sweet farm because of, now you get infinite, uh, fish, which is really cool and really amazing. And, yeah, so it's, uh, it's pretty amazing, guys. Um... So, up over here, how this farm works is the Guardians do spawn. Is my light level up good? Uh, I don't even know where my light is. Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and turn that on. So I can show you a little bit in here. As you guys can see, Guardians need two s things to spawn. But of course, now because of how this design is working, they pretty much spawn and then they fall down. Watch this. Look at all those Guardians spawning, guys. That is crazy amounts so they spawn. So I already talked about this Minecraft thing. Now let's go up here. I, I showed you inside of the farm. Uh, as you guys can see here, we got some pistons that control the water. So you, of course, don't want this farm on all the time because that's just in a lag your world out a lot, um, and yeah, so you pretty much use this, um, to turn off the water just so it doesn't come there, then you got these fence gates, so, uh, the guardians pretty much fall down, and yeah, it looks pretty cool on the top, guys, of course, you need something on the top, because guardians can spawn outside of water, uh, sorry, they need to spawn inside of water, my back there, but they can go outside of water, which is, uh, <laughs> One big thing. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool design, guys. It's designed pretty cool. Uh, right here we have our little item sorter that sorts all the items when they come in through here. Uh, and don't worry, no items get stuck. They just look like they get stuck from the lag from the farm over there. But yeah, it's pretty cool, guys. We've got some ender chests here, of course, if you want to do some stuff like that. Uh, and then we got a ton of sorters here, guys, just for sorting the items into their respective chests. So, what we have here is just a general storage if you want to store some yourself. But then over here, we have our farm. I emptied all this stuff out, guys. So this is what it's been since I'm talking to you, which has been, I don't know, like eight minutes probably, guys. So this is all the stuff that we have been getting for the past, I don't know how long. That fish could last you forever, guys. Just cook that fish up. You got a uh, pretty cool design. Uh, sorry, pretty cool uh, health. 
uh, sorry, a pretty cool, this pretty cool, uh, what's it called, F uh, just a food source in general, which would be pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for the farm, guys. Like I said, Doc M's channel will be in the description if you do want to see him doing this design. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, other than this, uh, sweet, uh, item elevator, which is pretty cool. That's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really like this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. But this has been Jim Webin, and I'll see you guys later. But before I go, make sure to apply to the Jim Webin Craft Network. Uh, we offer a 70% revenue share, which is sweet. You guys get 70, I get like 10% of you. So it's not much for me, but of course, I will help you guys all the way and all that stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.